What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today, I want to show you guys how to remotely control your Gecko trading bot. Well, this idea is actually not new, but I'm going to show you how it works first, and I'll explain what this is about. So I'll open up Telegram right now, and from here, you can see that I can say if I want the Gecko to, let's say, issue a buy order, and they'll tell me buy order received, and that you send it to exchange, you'll complete the order. And then again, if I want to sell, let's just say, you really wouldn't want to sell the same minute, but let's say, you know, after a certain time, you want to sell manually, you just type slash sell, and then complete the order again. Obviously, you could also type in help to get what kind of options is available in here. In addition, let's say that uh, you want Gecko to show the error messages that your strategy or the Gecko is running into. So that'll show the Gecko the error messages. So you just say slash error. Well, because this is for, for me, why they will just manually program in a way for the Gecko training bot to show error messages uh, on command. So I will I program this in, but normally you will want the Gecko training bot to show you error messages automatically whenever there is an error message that still shows up. In this case, I manually generate an error message when I typed in this command. And what it does is say, can you see this error message in Telegram? And to show you that this is not just uh, some bot that is somewhere else, I'll have, you can see here on the right hand side, this is what's been happening. And actually, if I type in a message right now, you'll see on the right hand side, let's say if I want to buy again, so I actually execute a buy right there, a buy is equal long. So just execute a buy order. So again, if I do sell, so it's a secure sell order. See, a buy is equal short and tell me the round trip. So then finally, if I say slash error, you'll see, can you see this error message in Telegram? And then it shows you, can you see this error message in Telegram? So it does show you that error message. So how does this whole remote control thing work? This whole idea was uh, created by this guy, Zapra, on the Gecko forum. So his idea is to initiate manual buy and sell calls and tweak strategy parameters on the fly. So query internal states, all these things they want to do. But so far, from what he has built out, the only thing that really works is the manual buy sell and the query internal state, I guess, probably like getting error messages. That's those that are only two that really work. So, I mean, send message from your strategy via Telegram. It's kind of yes and no, and I'll explain that in a bit. But let me go through the installation process first to get this installed on Gecko. So right now, what you have to do is to pull down a Gecko version from his repo, which is over here. So again, if you read um, the instructions from Ask Mike, he would prefer that you download only from his repo because you don't know. I mean, anyone can add these random code in there that can potentially steal your API keys. So this is really more for testing purposes. I've gone through most of the code, looked through it. I don't see anything really fishy about it, so it's okay to me, but you should always exercise, exercise caution when uh, using other people's repos. Anyway, <clears throat> so here's where a lot of people get into trouble right off the bat. So you just click on clone or download to like, let's say you copy this uh, path and you say, you know, get clone the repo or you say download zip, you're going to get the wrong zip file because right now the branch is set to develop. That's the default branch. And that's not where this remote control setup is, is stored. It's actually stored over here under command and remote logging. I don't know why it was a pain in the butt. I think I got into this early on when I first tried to want to play around with it because this this setup, he did it way back in April. So I think I tried to play around this around like May or June, and I couldn't get it to work at first. So the main reason why I couldn't get it to work was because I was on a different branch. I mean, silly me. So, but um, as long as you download from the right branch, so there's a couple of ways you can download it. So either once you switch the branch right here, again, you're back, you're on commands and remote logging. From here, you click on download zip, you will download the correct zip file with the necessary modifications. If you want to do it via command line, you will have to use this git clone, github, zapra, github, git, dash b, which is um, the branch. 
and the branches command and remote logging. Once you do that, you'll be able to download that specific branch and you'll be able to use the remote control functions that Zebra has uh, written out. But here's another thing. Once you do that, that's not done because you have to go into the Gecko directory, so CD Gecko, once you download it, unzip it, whatever you have to do, and then you have to install TG Fancy. So the NPM install TG Fancy, it's kind of similar to how you would install the TA, the TA lib or the Tulip libraries. Well, TG Fancy is really just a fancy high level wrapper for the Telegram bot API. So by default, you, Gecko uses the tel, the default Telegram bot API and that you install it. Actually, I believe when you install the npm install dash dash only equal production, you follow all the dependencies in here. It will it'll install the Telegram bot API. But because there's certain functions required for the remote control that Zapra uses, he decided to use TG Fancy instead of just a node Telegram bot API. I think one of the main things is because he wants to order how the messages shows up. Once you go ahead and install TG Fancy, as I said here, then you should be able to run Gecko with remote control. But here's the thing. Within the config file that you use for command line, so this is what I have here, and this is the Visual Studio code, and my level a little different because I have the debug console trying to debug something within this remote control setup of Gecko. But anyway, inside the config file right here, you will want to use the method command because this is the strategy that Zappa written out that will work with this remote control setup. So when you use commands, when you open the command file, you see that it's basically it's empty. Like well, everything here is, uh huh, the init empty, the update is empty, log is empty, the check is empty. There's a separate section called on command, which handles the, com the command functions of um, the remote command that you can send out. So right now he built out the, these three. Well, he built out three. I actually added this fourth one right here. So he built up the help, buy, and sell. And then I built out this one called error, which um, it's really just three lines of code, as you can see here. But all it does is just say, log that remote can you uh, see this error message in Telegram. So it will actually display that in the terminal. And it also will display that in Telegram when you use log that remote. That's all it does. So basically, as a buy and sell function, all it does is just say command that handle the true, and then it'll send the this that advice to go along, which is which is a way for it to tell Gecko to issue buy and say, and the reverse for sell. That's basically it. That's the very basic of this function of this uh, strategy. It doesn't use any indicators. It all it does is just let you remote buy and remote sell. And the other thing that Zapper mentioned is that. If you say, for example, you set your candle size to like every five minutes or every 10 minutes, depending on your strategy or whatever you're using, what will happen is you won't be executing your buy and sell until it hits that interval. So let's say that, you know, you are selling at every 15 minute interval and it just, you just pass that one, you just pass that previous 15 minutes and you issue a buy order, it won't buy until 14 more minutes have passed to equal another 15 minute interval. So that's why I have set up a here, candle size equals to one. So this is one of those things where with the command uh, strategy, it works fine, obviously, because it doesn't use any indicators. So, but ultimately, I really want to use this with like an RSI bear strategy. And like, let's say, let me remotely adjust the parameters. So let's say that in the RSI bear strategy, I will be able to say, if I want the, the RSI bow high to be 85 instead of 80, I can adjust that right within Telegram on the fly. And I mean, it won't adjust right away. It will adjust, you know, within until at the next interval. But it's, it's still pretty quick. And the point being, I can control when, when it actually buys and sells. In addition, still be able to also make manual buy and sell orders um, using Gecko. So problem is, I try to do that. So I added the command set up here, but it doesn't work. So it actually just freezes. When I added it, it just freezes. I'll actually show you the error message. Right? So it just freezes right here. So I actually was running it in the debug console so you can see that I can um, I can debug it in here. I might create a video sometime down the line to show you how to set this up as well if you guys want to really dive into debugging 
uh, get going to, to make it to work the way you want to specifically. But as you can see, I, I ran it and then it just stops right here. After I load the strategy, it just stops working. So I was debugging to find out why. <clears throat> what I found was this, it says that um, exception has occurred, cannot find module buffer util only after I check off on the breakpoints for all exception and uncaught exception. I don't really know what I'm doing here at this point other than just finding this error message, but hopefully I'll be able to figure it out and figure out why this isn't working with other strategies except other than the one that Zapper has built out. So pretty much this is the to-do list in terms of the things that I have to do to try to get this further along. But I just really want to show you guys what's potentially possible with Gecko. So but anyway, the to-do list for me right now is to get this strategy, get this to work with other strategies. So I have to break it down step by step. So right now, the command strategy has no indicators. Maybe I would just modify it to include some indicators to see if that's the reason why that's it's not working. Other people on the forum, someone did mention it on the forum right here. I think that um, it just they mentioned that it does it doesn't crash, but it's stuck on the start screen when the logo is showed and it starts running settings plugins. So and then um, yeah, I think this is a camera sixty nine. So he mentioned that um, he found out that the log.js caused the stuff. Not sure why. So if it is the log.js file, then it is because of the remote logging features that Zapra added that is causing it not to work. So that's something that I have to look into. Um, not 100% sure yet, yeah, just because the error message says something else. The error message says was that it was a buffer util issue. But again, not exactly sure. So the other thing is to get this to allow changing strategy parameters. So this is something that I wonder if it will work. For, but then since I'm able to, because right now I can get Gecko to report the strategy parameters, and but to change it, like because does it stay in memory or is it something that reads from the file? I don't really know. So like that's one thing that I have to test, figure out, and see if I can get to work. And finally, to get this to work with Gecko 0.6 again, like X Mike recently released. Gecko 0.6, I think it was beta version, but still he at, released it and then now there's a lot of features in there that he added that is not compatible with the version that Zapra uh, written the remote control for because he did this back in 0 0.5 and changed. So it probably won't, won't work. And even the pull request that Zapra opened, it doesn't even, because he did it with some older version, old code, I guess, so there are conflicting files and it doesn't even, um, can't even be pulled into the X Mike's uh, repo. So that's the reason why this isn't part of Gecko. But if you do want to play around with it, I have pretty much given you all the instructions so that you can test it, play around with it, see if it's something that you guys uh, find useful. So anyway, guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.